Hi guys, so today I have another video, obviously, but um, it's kind of like a best and worst video, but it's all on the Revlon Colorstay line, because I love Revlon, it's one of my favorite like brands, so I just kind of wanted an excuse to try out a lot of their Colorstay products. Now, I tried to get just about everything in the line, there's some things I didn't get, like I didn't get their blush just because I'm not a big blush person, and it's like $10, so I was kind of like, that's a kind of expensive for a drugstore blush that I'm probably not going to use. So I'm just going to get into it, I've been trying out these things for like the past month or two, so yeah, I've been trying them out for quite a while, so I have some good feedback to give you guys. So I didn't get any of their powders, but I do have two of their foundations, this is the 24 hour Revlon Color Stay foundation that I talked about in my um, foundation best and worst video and so I really really like this and the other foundation is the Revlon Color Stay whipped foundation and it's also a 24 hour foundation so this one actually comes with more product this is one ounce and this is 0.8 of an ounce and so the price comparisons will like be down here when I look them up but pretty much these both have pros and cons. So this one right here is probably, I really really like this one. This is the one I first tried. It's almost like completely gone. And so I'm wearing this right now and this is great because it has really really full coverage. Um, and it lasts like ridiculously long. It doesn't leave your skin splotchy. The only thing that I really don't like, like I talked about before if you saw that video, is it's really kind of hard to work with. You have to work really, really fast. Um, you have to really, really blend it out. I said really, really a lot, but you really do have to blend it out a lot. Otherwise, you know, it starts to dry up and you just have to like really, really work it in so it doesn't <laughs> really, really, so it doesn't look cakey or anything. Now this whipped foundation, what I really, really, I need to stop saying really, really like it's getting really, really ridiculous. That's like a, that's a, like alliteration right there for you. But um, the Revlon Whipped Foundation, I like how this applies so much better. It It's really smooth and it's very light and fluffy, hence a whipped foundation. And I'm in the color Nude in this and I'm in the color Medium Beige in this, so they both are about my skin tone. I just find that it doesn't necessarily last as long. It's not totally full as full coverage as this one, but it's still what the average person is going to need on a daily basis. I would probably recommend this one over this one just because of the way it applies. But overall, they both get two thumbs up. Some of my favorite foundations from the drugstore are right there. The next thing I tried out is this Revlon Colorstay Quad. And I'm normally not the biggest eyeshadow fan from the drugstore. I really like Wet n Wild's eyeshadows, but I love my high-end eyeshadows. That's one thing that I do like more that is high-end over drugstore. Um, this is in the color Addictive, and it has some really fun browns with some a little bit of shimmer in it, not too much. It's a great everyday look, and it does last all day, so it is part of the color stay. It's just nothing extremely special. Um, I don't find it to be as vibrant as like my Naked palette or something like that. But for a drugstore eyeshadow, not bad. Of course, I would recommend the Wet n Wild ones over these. Wet n Wilds are like half the price, super, super good qualities. If you never tried one, you have to go try one. They're awesome. Something that I love, I used to rave about these all the time. These are the Color Stay Liquid Lipsticks. So they look like this. They go on like a lip gloss. Here, I'll show you. I have this one in the color Perfect Peony. And this is, um, if I can find it. Miracle Mauve. And so I'll just show you. It just has like a wand. So little wand, whatever. Um, and it applies like a lipstick. It does get a little bit drying. But what can you really expect with a lip stain? It doesn't come off on anything. Amazing. My mom and grandma got me hooked on these because they like love these things so much. And they're like seven or eight dollars. And they're awesome. They let it, they'll they last until like the next day if you don't use makeup remover. This next thing is the Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick. And now I've seen people use these on YouTube and they seem to like them. Personally, I could go without them. I'm not a big fan of shadow sticks in general just because this is kind of like oily so you need to put an eyeshadow on over it anyways. And so, I mean, I guess it's cool if you're using it as like a paint pot type of thing or a primer with color in it. This is in the color Torch and I try to get like the most neutral one that I would like wear a lot and would match with a lot of my eyeshadows and so this is like okay it's not some 
I don't think I wouldn't be repurchasing this I don't even know if I'm gonna like use up this whole thing because I really just don't use it all too much um I use this thing for like the inner corner but it's not incredibly pigmented like you're gonna be seeing in the swatches next to my face um, this next thing is the Revlon Colorstay Under Eye Concealer. Now I'm always looking for a good under eye concealer. I have yet to find one that I'm obsessed with that works amazing. Um, this works pretty well. It's really good. I just can't really find anything to get rid of my under eye circles. Like, um, I always just have little creases right here. Even with my makeup on, I, you guys probably like always see it in my videos. I could put pounds and pounds of powder on and, or concealer or whatever and it still won't really make a difference so as a concealer though it works nice it's very creamy you can blend it nicely so I like this very comparable to like the Maybelline um, Age Rewind concealer I like that one out too my only concern is as you can see look how like much product looks like it's been used but it didn't come all the way full like this thing was not down to the bottom I haven't used it that much it was probably like down to here so they could have used their packaging a little better on this. They could have given you some more product for your buck. This is the Revlon Colorstay Over Time Mascara. And it's a lengthening mascara. Now, you guys know, well you may or may not know, but I love my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. It's awesome. I love it. I cannot get enough of it. So it's really hard to compare to that. Um, but that's obviously a more voluminizing mascara. Now this for length is actually very nice. If you're looking for length, this works nicely. I love the wand. Um, I actually use this a lot on my lower lashes because the wand is very like, it's just very small. It's not bulky. It's not going to be like super clumpy. This isn't clumpy at all. It's a little bit drier than the L'Oreal Voluminous. If you've tried that, you could kind of compare it to this. But it doesn't really volumize. It really does lengthen though, so if you use this with like a volumizing mascara, you're good to go. So I hope that kind of helped you out. Some totally, totally, 100% would always recommend the Revlon Colorstay Foundation. It's amazing. The rest of the products, I would also recommend the liquid lipstick, and the rest are kind of give or take based on what you're looking for. So I want to know your opinion on all of these things. If you try them, I want to know what you think about them and see if your opinion's like the same as mine, or if you feel differently about something, or you really like something that I really didn't like, or if you tried something that's not in this set but still in the color stay line and you really like it just let me know as well because I think that would be really fun to know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios!